South Africa is a party, by the way, to the International Criminal Court Treaty. This is really a good thing. Uh, my own country has never become a party because it is too worried about so-called sovereignty. It has the illusion that somehow the world is not interdependent. In fact, we are interdependent. We depend on all the nations of the world abiding by the rule of law. And it would be in our great interest in the United States to ratify the treaty of the International Criminal Court that I worked on and that uh, I think still should be part of our law. So, what is happening in South Africa if it is not genocide? Certainly, there has been a huge problem with murders of particular ethnic groups. So what that is, actually, is an earlier stage in the whole process. I called it, at one point, the preparation stage, when Julius Malema began to go around singing the they shoot the farmer, kill the war song. Because that indicated, because he was president of the African National Congress Youth League, that indicated a certain amount of official approval for these, these murders. When you get official approval, you've moved beyond just ordinary uh, killings. You've got actual backing from government officials. And he was, in effect, a government official. He was a power behind the throne. He was one of the people who put, uh, you know, Jacob Zuma into the presidency. Uh, we protested this, and it has not, unfortunately, resulted in a reduction in farm murders. The murder rate of the whole South African population remains at over 31 per 100,000. That's one of the highest rates in the world already. The murder rate of farmers, including Afrikaner farmers, is four times as high. The Institute of Security Studies estimated the farm murder rate at 120 per 100,000 uh, last year. And the Transvaal Agricultural Union, in whose hall we are speaking, using verified names of victims, that's the best way to tell, uh, placed the figure at 130 per 100,000 last year, which makes it one of the highest murder rates of any people in the world. So we have a long way to go in solving this problem. And in fact, one of the biggest problems, as our model of genocide shows, since denial is the final stage, in fact, also begins at the very beginning of all genocide, denial is always present in genocide. The South African government has denied and covered up this crisis by not releasing any breakdown of how murders are distributed among ethnic groups in South Africa since 2007. It's a cover-up. They don't want the people to know. And in fact, American and European governments have remained silent about this problem, reinforcing this campaign of denial. Um, one of the worst problems in preventing genocide is the phenomenon of bystanders. People who just stand by and watch it develop and then watch it happen. And that is what is happening right now. It's still politically incorrect to talk about this problem.